Nature's beauty on Earth extends way above these distant mountains in Switzerland. And by searching beyond the skies, the Geneva Observatory is helping to answer questions about the nature of the universe we live in. In 1995 at the observatory, Michelle Meyer and Didier Kahlo, seen here on the right, co-discovered the first ever exoplanet orbiting a sun-like star outside our solar system. In these days, I was using a technique that we call radial velocity, which is um, observing a star and looking for any change of speed in the star. Well, since then, the field has just exploded. As, as you may know, there is really now thousands of exoplanets. Um, there are a lot of planets known uh, to be transiting, which means the planet goes right in front of the star. And, um, and that's these techniques that we're using for, for the KEOPS mission. The KEOPS Space Telescope can measure this tiny dip in light from the star during the transit. KEOPS's uh, aim is to measure the size of already known exoplanets. So it's not a discovery mission. It is really aimed at precisely measure the size. And once we have the size and possibly the mass, we can derive the mean density. And from then we know a little bit what the planet is made of. The exoplanets to be observed by Chaops are typically small and range from rocky and hot to gaseous like Jupiter with possible Earth-like planets in between. Many have been discovered at much closer distances to their host star than those in our solar system, some taking just a few days to complete an orbit. There are differences too in how today's search for exoplanets is conducted, with space-based facilities complementing ground-based telescopes, and racks of computers to process data from targeted stars and exoplanets. The observatory also houses the KEOPS Science Operations Centre. We're sending the observation program to the Mission Operations Centre in, in uh, Madrid, uh, where then the information is uplinked to the actual instrument. The instrument is configured to observe the, the star, and then the telemetry, the data is downlinked uh, to the Mission Operations Centre and right away forwarded to us here in Geneva, where we then can do the data processing, uh, archive the data, and then provide it to the scientists uh, all over Europe and to the world. The compact science operations centre at the heart of the mission also reflects the compact size of Chaops's telescope. It is just one and a half metres long, but will punch well above its weight and size. There are now over 4,000 known exoplanets and counting, and through repeated observations of several hundred of them, the mission will provide an important insight into the inner structure of exoplanets, how they form and evolve.